All right, here we are. Is the uh, the Haas Peak coolant, and what I've noticed so far is they come with this fancy tip on it, and uh, they're not the best because you can see it kind of sprays and a, a an erratic sort uh, sort deal. So what I did is uh, there's this piece that comes out of the front, and inside's a uh, like a slip collet. Um, I don't know if that's the proper word for it, like a compression fitting. There we go. Uh, it's a little black piece that sits in there, and it clamps around the tube, you see that little black piece in there, it, it clamps around the tube, so what I did is I turned a, got a piece of brass, it's 3 8 in diameter, the inner diameter is 3 16 and uh, I, I just faced it, rounded it off a little bit, put a little, uh, use a spot drill to chamfer that in the back side, and then that's a piece of uh, aluminum welding rod that I had bent in to get the stick in the middle of it, and so... With this installation, I found that it makes a, a much more consistent stream. Now mind you, if you go to make one of your own, it's a 372 diameter that you're shooting for. And it seems to fit pretty good. It's a little bit loose, but that's what I measured off the last one. So a couple of little quick turns on there. You see it sticks out a little bit farther, but to get this thing to focus a little bit. It sticks out farther. It's still pretty, it's still below the spindle, so I think it's in a safe position, but as you can see, it shoots a lot straighter, uh, right down under the table. And this is a Haas TM1, so I didn't want to make it too much of a mess out in the, you know, all over the place, but it seems to work fine. So if you guys want to make your own, there's the, uh, there's a secret right there, so quick and dirty.